Hello everyone and welcome to Rudy's Retro Intel. On today's show we'll be looking at this card. This is an input and output card for the RC2014 computer. So let's peek inside and poke around. Stick around. <laughs> Before we start the video, I want to do a shout out to everyone watching, my Patreon members, subscribers, and viewers like you. I really appreciate you coming. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, here we are on the screen here. We have uh, the TerraTerm program working up and running and connecting. We're going to connect to the RC2014. If you're not sure how to do that, then just check my previous video. I go through the whole steps of how to do this. So here we are. We're going to hit the space bar and then we're going to press X. For CPM, yes, we want to boot into CPM, and you know there are my files. Um, I keep my basic uh, programs on the D drive, so here we go. Now the way to program the uh, digital I/O card is with BASIC, so we're gonna to need to load BASIC. So M BASIC 85. So there we are. We're in BASIC and files. And here's some programs I wrote. So let's run the first one. So once you've built it, the card and assembled it all, you want to, you know, verify and test that the LEDs and the buttons work and, you know, that the LEDs aren't in backwards, etc. So I wrote a little program, which you can find pretty much anywhere. Test, IO test up BAS. And if I want to list it, it's just, you know, you press a button. So I'm going to run this. And now let's take a look at the card here. So here's my card. Is it showing up? Yes and you press a button and it lights up the corresponding LED so you can go through all the buttons and press to make sure that all the LEDs are working and you know your card is set it's actually taking an input from the button and outputting it to the LED so that's great so what we have next what else I want to show you here so um, I'm going to load uh, io-count BAS and this is just an LED counter so let's run that and our delay I'm gonna put it um, I don't know 900 and we can see the LEDs are lighting up and it's counting so it's a binary counter just you know going along doing its thing and um, <clears throat> producing an output that you know it's neat and uh, well, what else can we do with this? I mean, this is nice. Um, we can actually set this up to that an external uh, display that flashes LEDs if you want. You could actually wire in um, an external unit to this. And instead of putting the LEDs on here or leave them there, um, you can uh, remove the buttons from here and the LEDs and have an external box or unit that would have all that on there. So you're not just looking at on the card. You can actually make something external for it. Um, let's see here. So, um, next, no, I want to do load, load, io dash alt, and here's um, alternating between two 8 bit values. Let's run this one, and you can see the output on the screen that we're getting is it's outputting numbers and you see the LEDs flashing kind of like Christmas theme you know they're kind of going back and forth and um, we can see it's alternating and it's providing the values on the screen so you can use this to um, you know control lights if you want like Christmas lights or other lights that you want in your office or wherever and um, it, this is just putting out putting the number the value for um, the on and off of the LEDs neat little program um, next I'm going to um, new you're gonna load the IO conversion and this little program that I wrote that it just shows you the um, you can use it to display values for example um, want to convert number one is convert decimal to binary so oops, um, I want to pick that I want to pick zero 
and it's showing that the value of zero is actually a zero 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 and that's so it's converted from one to the other um we can do we'll pick that again and we're gonna choose um i don't know uh 25. so the average 25 is zero 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 one one zero zero one and it's playing on here so it's from left to right so it's three zeros one two and three then out two one so it's on on and then zero zero off off and one is on so that's displaying the value um let's pick uh, zeros to shut them all off um you can also do um two five five which turns them all on that's the value uh for all of them on now um let's go to number one again i'm gonna turn them all off just because it's a lot of glare on this for, it, they're really bright um, we're going to run number two. We want to convert a binary number. So if we have a binary number and we want to convert that into a decimal, well, what's the value? I don't know. So let's do um, uh, 0, 1, 1, 0, um, 0, 1, 1, 0. And the uh, decimal output is 102. So the conversion of that number, of that binary, is 102. And we can also get that displayed on our screen. And um, yeah, we can quit out this program and we can run, um, there's other fun things you can do, like uh, which is probably the most um, used program for um, this to display what's going on. And we can do the, run the Knight Rider thing where it's kind of going back and forth on the screen. Now, what can we do with this? I mean, this is really cool. And we're controlling lights and all of these. But like I said, you could make an external board, have um, relays on that board. So once the you know uh, the light comes on or the power the LED comes on, it, it activates a relay. You can make the buttons, for example, like a sensor. So if um, you know you open a door, um, then it would activate that button, making that LED come on. Same thing with a window. You could probably use it to control other things like lights. Uh, you know Christmas lights LED lights you know whatever lights you want so it's a neat little uh, prototype board to you know it's a lot of fun it's pretty neat simple to program um, the what oh, would stop this um, it, it, all you're really doing is outputting so um, here we have the four uh, the, the loop from zero to seven output so you just output and output is the commands used to out the value to the LED and in would be for the would be for the button so when you press a button it's pulling the value in and out is for the um, display of the LED status so um, that's basically um, what we can do with this thing it's kind of neat it's not an expensive uh, uh, board and you can you know just play with it have it maybe hooked up to your to your desks and um, you know display signs you can maybe write more complicated programs if you have multiple of these boards you can actually have multiple lights doing multiple things maybe that's something we'll do in the future and um, yeah that's that's pretty much the demo i wanted to show everyone today well that's it for our show today hopefully you like this little demo of the digital io board for the rc 2014 let me know in the comments if you've uh, used one or if you think it's neat uh, it's probably all kinds of applications you can apply to this so big thanks to my member my patreon members subscribers and viewers like you take care and have a great day